Good day, sir. This is David Mago Jr. This is my report about case analysis number one. Title, Lola Remedios. Introduction, Lola Remedios is a style living a modest lifestyle. Her only income is generated by her investment portfolio, which total 1 million pesos. Lola Remedios primarily investing his investment goal is for her asset to suffic sufficiently support her for the rest of her life. He does not under any circumstance want to lose money because he recalls that her relatives lost money in the crash of 2009. Dollar Remedios is also stubborn and inflexible in thinking especially on the topics of financial markets. But despite of my recommendation to the contractor, he has never once altered her portfolio. Lola Remedios on only municipal and government bonds. I am concerned that inflation will eventually cause her to outlive her assets. Perspective As a financial advisor, I look clearly at what are the reasons to prevent future error and to help and develop both in the financial aspect. Being a good financial advisor with expertise gives credi credibility and people trust and respect my opinion. For central issue, Lola Remedios is old and stubborn and inflexible in her thinking especially on the subject of financial markets. Her, port her portfolio, he own municipal and government bonds. And, I and I'm worried because the money might run out because this is the only thing that will support in his financial expenses on a daily basis because he might not get any profit from, the from his investment because of the high inflation rate that is happening in the Philippines. Findings for Behavioral Finance Biases Loss Aversion and Risk Adverse Effect of Biases Loss Aversion is the tendency to prefer avoiding losses to acquiring equivalent gain. Risk Adverse Behavioral, behavior, behavioral are an investor who put their money into bank account with a low but guaranteed interest rate rather than buy stock which can fluctuate in price but potentially earn much higher return. For my conclusion, a wealthy client with cognitive biases should be adapted and moderated. For my recommendation, Dollar Remedios should understand that her investment in municipal and government bonds might run out money because the inflation rate in the Philippines is higher than the interest on bonds. Her investment will not have a profit at all and he, will, he might run out the 1 million pesos money if he only takes daily expenses. Because Lola Remedios is old enough to avoid future mistakes in believing that we may be wrong and our decision may be wrong. Biases tend to hide in our mental blind spots. So if we recognize them, the problem is still half solved. And, uh, and for my recommendation, he needs a real, reliable professional advisor who need who needed financial equipment to make her financial decision for my action plan because Lola Remedios is old we need expertise in financial advisor to avoid her financial future mistake I will help her understand her financial investment deeply that she should that she should pull out all her municipal and government funds because they are no longer goods and will not make a profit. We should find a better investment that is higher than the inflation rate of the Philippines so that we can get support for her daily expenses and live without a fear that her saved money will not be used up but will earn more.